afternoon. I was going to be doing this video earlier today, but I had some technical difficulties with my phone and now had those resolved, so here we are. This will be posted um, late in the afternoon, so you will be able to watch it later this evening. Today is all about making your own stickers and using up your scrap pieces and little die cut pieces and shapes, papers, card stocks, and so let's get started. What you're going to need today to follow along, make these yourself, will be double sided tape and wide clear packing tape. I use the Aileen's Tacky Glue. You can use the glitter glue, anything, fabric glue, whatever you prefer. Um, we will also need a scissors, stamps of various designs, um, more decorative instead of not necessarily um, big and small. You want small stamps. Ink. I use um, the non-toxic pigment ink. And then this one is from Stampin' Up, their Early Espresso, it's a water-based uh, dye ink, so those both work great. Um, various stamps, like I said, you might want some alphabet stickers, or if you have letter stickers, and then any and all types of scrap pieces of cardstock, like you see here. Okay, so what I've already done, because I didn't want to waste a lot of time cutting all these things up uh, on the camera, so I did all this ahead of time. So this is a pre-made sticker. Now, you see how it has that shininess to it? Okay, already. So that's what we're looking to do with our stickers today. That's where the clear tape comes into play. You also need wax paper and parchment paper. Okay. Parchment paper because the double stick tape will not, or the clear tape will not stick to it. Wax paper, it will stick, it will be able to be peeled off, but it does stick and it's a little like, you know, <laughs> labor intensive to get back on it. So, I will show you the ones that I have made already. This one was just a um, cardstock piece that I had. I put the clear tape on top, the double sided tape on the back. And then I can cut this down. I can use a punch and cut it out any way I want. It's not going to make it come apart. And then I decided I wanted to maybe use this as a little tuck spot for journaling or something. And these are some of the retired papers that I had on hand from Stampin' Up! when I used to buy from them. So I just fussy cut those out. Aren't those cute? And then I did the same thing with this. I just took different card stocks cut them, punched out the paper, and then I assembled it, and then I just put the clear tape on the front that was already white on the back. This one, I added the piece of white to the back. I did the same thing. I just kind of collaged those pieces together. Didn't that turn out nice? And then a stamp. Just pulled that off the envelope, added the clear tape to the front, and you get the shiny, and you get a sticker. And then you can put glue. You could use double-sided tape whatever you wanted to do. Now this side here I've stamped using this pretty stamp here just on the white paper. This is then, it's, um, I believe it's that kids drawing paper. And then I did the same thing and I took, this was a vintage button card and I took the buttons off and then I just saved the card. I thought that would be so cool to put in one of the journals or altered books that I do. So I did the same design around that and then I just took and fussy cut it out big piece of paper <clears throat> put that in the center and put a white piece on the back to cover up the print that was there this one was out of another retired paper pack I believe I got it at uh, scrapbook.com and then it was double sided so I just put a white piece on the back of that and this was pink watercolor paper so on the back I put white as they well that's the little cup from this other pattern paper this is washi tape 
and then I stamped on that. And then here, I have not adhered these yet, so this had words that I didn't like, and uh, tried to stamp it, but it didn't look good, so then I said, oh, I'll just cut a piece of cardstock. So let's just finish that up, and you'll see the process. See how quick and easy this is to do, and how you can be making your own stickers and saving yourself tons of money, because I'm sure you have a lot of scrap papers just like I do, and most of us crafters do. It doesn't matter what kind of crafting you do. And then what I do with the extra on the double-sided tape or any tape, well, double-sided mainly, just fold it over onto itself. You don't have to worry about cutting it off. With your scissors, line it up, center it more or less. Okay, so this one I've already punched, stamped on there, and then I cut this piece off and then just lined it up here and I'll just go ahead and cover the back of this with another white piece later. The same thing with this. But now what we can do is we can go ahead and to make these into stickers by just taking a piece of our tape and we're going to take the longer pieces here first and just lay it flat on the, across the top. And this just happens to be <laughs> the same width. And then I just used an old credit card or debit card, whatever you have, and uh, get out the air bubbles. Bone folder would be just as good, but this is hand size. I like that a whole lot better. And now just lift it up and trim off this extra tape that you don't want. end and now you have your shiny sticker made already isn't that really cool so that is all there is to it quick and easy to do no fuss no muss so let's move on and finish the rest of these up I hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you liked this little DIY, give the video a thumbs up and share if you know someone else who would like it. Okay, so there we have our second sticker made already. This is why I love the wax paper because you can lay it on there. It's not going to stick to it if you just did it on your tabletop surface. It tends to want to stick more, but the wax paper is just very forgiving, so it will come right off. And then just trim off this extra side over here. And there we have our second sticker. Shiny, shiny. I see a few little air bubbles in there, so I will get those out later. And I happen to have my trash canned right here beside me, so I'm not going to accumulate on my desk. Okay, now the light is on here better. I can see exactly where those air bubbles are. Smooth those right out. Very nice. So see, in just a short time, you have stickers ready for your next project and then what I wanted to show you this piece does not quite make it so that's fine all you need to do is tear off the second piece and you lay it right down here and it can even overlap a little bit it does not bother at all and you just smooth out the bubbles again like to come right up here on this edge of that other paper. So that's what is nice about the edge of the card. And of course again the size it's easy to hold and manipulate. So you're not having to worry about that. Okay now we're going to peel this up. I 
say. All right, where's the that? There we go. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, just trim around this edges here. Now a round shape. So you can do any shape, it doesn't matter. And again, put it where you can see it in the light, and then I can see there's a few more air bubbles right here on this little corner. So I have an extra light right here beside me, and then that way I can see it much better to get out those bubbles. So that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial. There's no reason to go on and on and on because I think you get the point. So really basically just take out any of your scrap papers like you've seen me here do. You can stamp on them, you can layer them, use old stamps. Just anything can be turned into a sticker. It's not difficult. And if you wanted to make for your planners and journals, you could take a plain white piece like this here and you can put your days of the week where you put the little blocks in. I've seen all those in, in planners. So why spend all that money on all those stickers when you can make your own cute stickers and use up your stock, your stash, stock, stash, and, um, you know, just get a blank planner or journal and then fill it up with your own little designs and make the, the cuteness of yourself. And then the stamps, I'm sure you have a lot of stamps already on hand and the same thing, just cutesy it up. And you can always come back and use your washi. We always have washi as well. And uh, then you can make borders, you can do whatever you wanna do um, inexpensively. So I hope this gives you some great ideas. And next video, I'm going to be showing you me putting these in my um, weekly planner that I made myself out of a composition notebook and how I designed it and decorated it, the cover, the inside, and with tabs and all which what you have and um, where I got my supplies and things like that. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next video.